first, I want to give thanks to uh, President Kendra Bogus and you know Coach Garrett for this opportunity that I've been given. Uh, you know, Coach Garrett is an, is an extended thanks to him. You know, since he recruited me back in you know, 2007, coming here in 2008. You know, pretty much you know Concord has been introduced to me by him, and everything about this program and what I'm about is all due to him. So I'm thankful for that and this opportunity. Questions for Coach Smith? Coach, uh, but in the years as an, in, as an assistant coach, uh, were you mentally taking notes that whole time, saying, if I get the opportunity, I need to remember how this? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the biggest part about, you know, starting out as an assistant coach, I figured out I wanted to be a baseball coach right as soon as about my senior year as a player. So, as that season began, I was like, you know, I kind of wanted to get into it. And at the time, Coach Andrew Wright was the coach. And I asked him about the opportunity and pretty much had a volunteer opportunity to start out. So that's, you know, the type of pride. It wasn't about the money. It was just about getting into the business of a big, something that's bigger than myself. And, you know, the Concord baseball family, you know, it's something, it's a great place to be. So, you know, starting there, you know, I definitely started taking notes and remembering things that, you know, Coach Garrett has taught me and Coach Andrew Wright as well. And I guess course me into today's role, which I'm thankful for. Getting to go from player to assistant to head coach, all with the same team, a journey not a lot of people get to take. How cool is that to just stay with the same program and really learn the program? I mean, it's awesome for me. You know, I've had a lot of support over the years, the family, um, you know, since the thing, since the job has been you know, posted that I am taking over, I've had overwhelming support from former teammates to former players, you know, so that just makes me confident in moving forward because I'm a Concord guy through and through. It's just what I've known, you know, just put your head down, you work hard and good things will happen. So, you know, just with the, the continued support of the Concord baseball family, you know, it drives me to continue the success of the program and I'm excited about it. What about the program and Concord University in general entices you why you love it here so much? Just the family atmosphere. It's uh, it's not about the four walls. You know, Coach Gears always talked about it's not the four walls around you, it's the people inside. So, you know, just having that opportunity to be here, you know, since 2008 and just seeing so many people that are still here just goes to show, uh, you know, the type of atmosphere, the family type, you can depend on anybody, rely on anybody to help you. So I think that's, you know, the most special part about it is the family atmosphere. Do you have any specific goals, whether that be broad or specific that you're hoping to implement or hoping to accomplish during your run as head coach? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the foundation is laid. You know, we, we made the conference tournament 24 consecutive years, so I just want to maintain that success, compete for championships every year, and just do it the right way. Uh, there's, I guess there's no hidden secret to the success that's been laid here by Coach Garrett. It's just maintaining that success, continue to bring in great players and great coaches into the program, and just maintain that, that that's the ultimate goal. You talk about bringing great players into the program, and there is just a limited talent pool of Division II baseball players out there. What, tell me about the, uh, the challenges of recruiting. Uh, the challenges of recruiting, you know, in today's game, it's, it's getting tougher. It is, you know, the transfer portal definitely opens it up, um, you know, to bring in new players, players leaving, bouncing around. But I think, you know, the biggest challenge in recruiting is just getting people that want to be here for the right reason, because I feel like a lot of kids, you know, that might use the transfer portal as a crutch to go somewhere. But, you know, once you get those right people into the program, you know, everything is all well and good, but that's the biggest challenge in recruiting is just continuing to bring in and build towards that culture that, you know, that everybody wants to be a part of. So, you know, that's what I look forward to most and, you know, being the recruiting coordinator for the last six years and something that, you know, it's, it's been probably my favorite part of the job is just being able to interact with these potential athletes and, and building building towards you know, the ultimate goals of the program. You said you knew you wanted to coach your senior year here. Has it set in yet that, that you did it? Nah, I mean, it's still surreal. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, but it is setting in. You know, like I said yesterday, just the overwhelming support that the, you know, the former players and, and, and uh, the people that I've coached and teammates, it's – I mean, it's starting to set in a lot, and I'm, I'm very excited to just, you know, continue, move forward, and hopefully, hopefully make everybody proud in the Concord baseball family. You're, you and your brother are very close. Tell me what 
his input has been to make you the coach that you are now? Uh, I think it's just the, the competitiveness. Uh, like me and my brother's personalities are kind of, you know, polar opposites. I'm more laid back. My brother was like the big competitor growing up. And he was always the guy when I was young, hey, let's go throw, hey, let's go hit. And, you know, just watching him be a competitor really put that into me as well. And he's still the same. He's, he's my biggest fan, my biggest supporter, always checks in on me, make sure, you know, hey, how, how's the baseball gig going? How's the team looking? So, you know, me and him, yeah, very, very close. And he's been a, a big impact to the person I've become today. So I'm very thankful for him as well. What will you be thinking about as you get ready for the start of the next next spring? It'll come before you know it. I mean, I guess, you know, once the fall comes, you know, we're going to have a good plan put together just to, you know, checkpoint by checkpoint, just to determine, you know, where we want to be out in the spring con. So, I mean, just be successful. That is, that's the ultimate goal and just maintain the success of the Concord way.